Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with the new Dina Wakely gloss sprays and spraying over some texture paste. So I'm starting out my blue Dina Wakely journal, just had to think which one it was, and I've got this image, a face image from her collage tissue that I'm going to be using today. So I'm just making sure where I want it on the page and gluing it down on the left hand side page because I've got um, an idea in mind where I want her hair flow, flowing out from um, the left hand side page to the right hand side page. Now this um, page is based on a journal page I did a few years ago now uh, using texture paste and using dye inks over the top and it suddenly occurred to me that if I used um, if I could use dye inks, I could use gloss sprays to do a similar effect. So I wanted to try it out. So I'm using this uh, Stencil Girl stencil. And again, any stencil will work for this, but you want something that's fairly open, that's got a little bit of detail in it. Um, it's going to be, well, it's going to end up being sort of abstract hair. So if you've got florals work quite well for this sort of thing, but any texture, I suppose, in the background would work. So just have a think about what you're doing. You can see I'm sort of going around where her hair would be. I'm obviously not going over her face. Now, one thing I did find when I did this was um, my page wasn't sealed. So I didn't have gesso on this. It probably would have helped if I had gessoed my page. Just in the fact that when I pulled off that stencil, um, I actually pulled up some of the paper, which is really odd because I've never had that happen before. But because I've got sort of that wet texture paste going down, um, where the stencil is laying when I pulled it up, I pulled up some of the, the um, paper. And obviously it pulled up the collage tissue as well. So again, maybe, you know, glue your collage tissue down and actually let it dry before you put the texture paste over the top. I was in a hurry because I was excited to see if this worked so I didn't let anything dry in between. So now I'm just going in and filling up the spaces that I hadn't filled before. So again this does not need to be perfect. You're going to be spraying over this. This is just sort of giving you an effect in the background. The texture paste that I'm using is the Ranger uh, Opaque Crackle texture paste. Again, any texture paste will work. I wanted to play with the, text, uh, the crackled one because I thought it'd be cool with the gloss sprays going into the crackle part of the texture paste. It's very hard to remember all these words. <laughs> when it had dried and I did set this down to dry for two or three hours, I wanted to be fully dry before I did this. I then I'm going back in with the new gloss sprays to spray into the girl's hair. Now I've just torn a really simple mask so I'm not spraying over her face. And I'm using the mi mineral aloe uh, carnation and apricot colour. Uh, on this and I've just sprinkled over the medieval and some gilt as well just to add a little bit of brightness to it. Now I wish, I wish in hindsight that I hadn't put the um, medieval and the gilt on this page. I wish I'd just kept it um, with those bright spring colours. The reason for it was it just ended up um, muddying or dulling down those colours a little bit which Again, it worked and I really like the end result, but I think just leaving it as a pure, um, those pure pastel-y colours would have been really cool. The other thing I did want to do though is I wanted to tip up my page and have it drip down the page, which I really like that effect of sort of her hair flowing down the page. Then I left my um, page to dry and I decided I wanted to put some colour on the girl. So I'm going in with my scribble sticks and I'm just going through and making a really randomly coloured face. So I'm starting off with eggplant and fuchsia and then blending out with some blushing um, and just sort of putting in the highlights and lowlights on the page. I'm um, scribbling over quite heavily just to get the colour put down on the page and then I'm going to water activate it so you can see that now and um, blend all the colours together. I quite liked it when it scribbles especially on screen but um, I've also really like the um, watercolour effect and I thought the watery effect would um, help blend in with the 
so the way the gloss sprays dripped down the page as well. One of the things I always do with my figures is go in and put in the whites of the eyes. It helps draw your eye to the, the face and make it a real focal point. I also like to colour in the irises and I don't know why but I always go for a turquoisey blue colour. I think that's because my eyes are blue. I really can't put it down to <laughs> anything other than that. Um, but nearly every figure I draw, I do something with eyes, end up having blue eyes. It's probably something scientific in it. So <clears throat> then I'm going in with my lips and finally I'm going back in with the Stabilo Ore Pencil just to add in some of that extra detail again. So you can see it really pops out the eyes, just putting in that extra little bit of darkness to it. And um, when you're gluing these pages down in your journal, they do dull down, the blacks in it, in the printing dull down a little bit, but by putting the Stabilo over the top again, it just pops that colour back up again. So once I'd finished doing this, I decided I want to put some words on the page. So I'm going through my pile of the Dina Wakeley collage tissue. I think this is the first release. Um, words where it had be, be present, be, be enough, I think. Pretty sure it was be, oh no, be you. And I'm just using some gel medium to glue that down. And again, because, you know, it's me, I'm not using a brush, I'm just putting some on my finger and um, gluing it down. And by having the sort of face on one side and the words on the other, it sort of draws your eye across the page and across through the, the um, image of the texture paste and the flowers. So in the close-up you can see how those inks have sort of gone through the hair. You can see where the colours are darker is where it's actually seeped into the page. You can see on top of the texture paste the um, gloss sprays have sort of resisted each other and built up on top of each other. And you can see them, they've sort of gone into the crackle as well. So it just gives you this beautiful effect in the end. When I was finished I really liked it but I wanted a little bit more colour so I decided to get my fuchsia. Um, spray over the top and just flick some over the top as well. So that's my little go on using texture paste and gloss sprays. Please if you um, like this project have a look at the description box below you'll find out where to get the, the supplies from and have a go yourself because it is so much fun. Thank you so much for watching until next time bye for now.